Generation X. Those that are born since 1960. Time when the Bible was taken out of the classrooms. It was against the law in many places to even bring a Bible in. Abortion was passed in the early 1970s. Roe versus Wade made abortion legal. And since the early 1980s, it's been Satan's strategy to blind and destroy that generation. And as you heard the testimonies tonight, he has just about succeeded. I had some statistics I saw just recently. And it said that Joshua generation, your generation, 85% of all the children who exhibit behavior disorders come from fatherless homes. 90% of the homeless and runaways are from fatherless homes. 71% of high school dropouts are from fatherless homes. 75% of all adolescent patients in chemical abuse centers are from fatherless homes. 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. 70% of all juveniles in state operated institution are from fatherless homes. 85% of all youth sitting in prison are from fatherless homes. 70% of all juveniles in state-operated institutions are from fatherless homes. And as we heard just a moment ago, even though you, there may have been a father in the home, the father was not being a father. We have to apologize to you of the Joshua generation. And this fellowship particularly has to apologize because we miss that generation. I understand you just said uh, some of these young people up to your chapter out in Cape Cod and you just had a group of them at your chapter over in Rhode Island and Doug has a whole chapter of that generation we've had several uh, you know we had Joshua a chapter up in our area and I just want to encourage you men to start looking at this generation and reach out to them. Give them an opportunity to speak. Help them. Nurture them. Encourage them. And uh, let's try to repent of our neglect of that generation. And to reach out and to embrace this generation to help them to be a father to the fatherless I tell you Carolyn Caroline had just about broke my heart when I saw her and saw how starve for affection from a father she was I think all that we can do is to try to reach out to that generation. And they have a great blessing to bring to us. A great blessing. Some of your men here in this area, James Levesque, who's just out in the Seattle area. 
I met him up in your convention up in Boston, brought him out to Seattle. Men like that. He was just, I just saw him last week, and he's been over in Michigan, and he told me that in Michigan, in the, uh, uh, what's the, the, Detroit, that Detroit, the population in Detroit has dropped to nearly half of what it was. Over a million people have left that city in just the last 10, 12, 15 years. Just the same thing that we're talking about happening over and over and over again. I would like to ask everybody here that's in that Joshua generation, would you come up here? I would like to lay my hands on you and pray.